as we store information in the form of text in ms word and as spreadsheet in ms excel in the same way a table that stores users information can be stored in a database a database software package is a tool for collecting and organizing data for retrieving meaningful information database can store information about people products orders or anything else many times you start keeping information as a list in a word processing program or spreadsheet as the list grows bigger redundancies and inconsistencies begin to appear in the data it becomes difficult to understand data in list form and there are limited ways of searching or taking out some required data for review Once these problems start to appear, it's a good idea to transfer the data to a database created by a relational database management system or RDBMS such as MS Access 2010. MS Access allows you to create, arrange and manage large amount of information. After you create an access database, you can search any information, manipulate it, and extract information from it to prepare required reports this lesson introduces you about ms access and teaches you how to create a database 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 is a place where you can store information related to a specific topic a table is an organized collection of records for example telephone directory address book or any other information that can be arranged in rows and columns a computerized database is a container of objects one database can contain more than one table for example an inventory tracking system that uses three tables is not three databases but one database that contains three tables an access database stores its tables in a single file along with other objects such as forms reports macros and modules databases created in the access 2010 format have the file extension .accdb and databases created in earlier access formats have the file extension .mdb using access you can add new data to a database edit existing data in the database delete information perhaps if an item is sold or discarded organize and view the data in different ways share the data with others via reports email messages or internet the parts of an access database tables forms reports queries macros modules tables The data needs to be organized into tables to get the most flexibility out of a database. In Access, data is stored in tables. A table is set of columns and rows with each column referred to as a field. Each value in a field represents a single type of data. Each row of a table is referred to as a record. A record is a row of information that has all the information about one person or entity. Each row in a table is referred to as a record. Records are where the individual pieces of information are stored. Each record consists of one or more fields. Fields correspond to the columns in the table. For example, you might have a table named employees where each record or row contains information about a different employee and each field or column contains a different type of information. such as first name last name address and so on fields must be designated as a certain data type whether it's text date or time number or some other type forms forms are sometimes referred to as data entry screens they are the interfaces you use to work with your data and they often contain command buttons that perform various commands You can create a database without using forms also by simply editing your data in the table data sheets. Forms also allow you to control how other users interact with the data in the database. 
For example, you can create a form that shows only certain fields and allows only certain operations to be performed. This helps protect data and to ensure that the data is entered properly. Reports Reports are used to summarize and present data in the tables. A report usually answers a specific question, such as how much money did we receive from each customer this year? Or, what cities are our customers located in? Each report can be formatted to present the information in the most readable way. A report can be run at any time and will always reflect the current data in the database. Reports are generally formatted to be printed out, but they can also be viewed on the screen, exported to another program or sent as an email message.